briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A pivotal case from 1985, Meckel v. Continental Resources Company, recently saw the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit test the boundaries of contractual obligations outlined in debentures. The drama revolved around debenture holders, who were obliged to convert their bonds into common stock, but failed to do so, claiming a lack of proper notice. The sparks flew when they took the matter to the district court, insisting that the notice given was not up to par. However, the court, unimpressed, dismissed these claims, resulting in one of the debenture holders, Seligman, appealing the decision. Challenging Citibank's actions, Seligman proposed that the bank fell short of its duty of reasonable care and skill by merely sticking to the existing debenture requirements. As key participants in the proceedings, partners of J&W Seligman and Company also sued Florida Gas Company, Continental Resources Company, and Citibank in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. Despite this, the court favored Citibank, affirming that the bank's mail-only policy for delivering notices was crystal clear in the debentures. The court dismissed Seligman's complaint, bolstering Citibank's stance of fulfilling their contractual obligations. This case offered a definitive ruling, denying debenture holders any entitlement to published redemption notices and affirming the summary judgment conferred on Citibank. The court's decision underscored their commitment to uphold obligations explicitly outlined in contracts, even in the face of disagreements and conflicts. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.